Hey everyone, welcome back to my another new video. I hope you all are doing really good. So today I have received this HP ZBook 14U Z5 laptop motherboard with no display. So now I will try to fix this motherboard. So let's try to fix it. Okay, uh, this is the motherboard part number. As you can see here, ZBook model, ZBook Z5. So now I will check some required voltage on this motherboard so I plugged in and press this power button and as you can see it's turning on but it's only take 0 0.156 or something amps that means low load so now I will check all the required voltage so I set my multimeter in DC mode so at first I will check main power rail which is 12 or 13 volt so as you can see it's almost 12 11.96 okay this voltage is perfect then I will check 3.3 always is also good and 5 volt always this also good <coughs> 1.8 it's present 1.5 it's present this is 2.5 it's also okay this is a ram supply vddq 1.2 this also good it's one point always one volt one volt as you can see all the required voltage is present here let's check this ram supply 2.3 3.3 5 5 Let's check this one volt okay so as you can see all the required voltage is present except the CPU <coughs> core voltage Let's check other side 1.8 1.8 1.8 this side also clear let's check here 1.2 is also good one okay 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 so we have all the voltage present on this motherboard except this cpu core voltage so <clears throat> what should i check now so now I will check first this 32 MB BIOS with my oscilloscope. So let's disconnect and plug in again. So first I will check pin number one, chip select and turn on. I'll look at my oscilloscope. As you can see, there is no frequency, no data on my <coughs> oscilloscope screen. So now I disconnect again and plug in. Now I will check pin number two. So I turn on, and as you can see, pin number two also straight line. There is no frequency, there is no variation no data signal so at first i will flush this bios so this may be corrupt bios so i will try to repair this bios file with update hp update exe file so first i need to take out this bios chip from motherboard Thank 
So I connect my this 32 MB BIOS chip in my SDOD programmer. So let's open these tools. <coughs> Yeah, it's too bright. Read. So as you can see, it's detect 256. So at first, I will read this file and uh, make a folder. Z book 14. <laughs> I have already a uh, bias file for this specific model but I will not flush with that file I will try to repair this original bias file because if I uh, flush with my backup file uh, so this uh, laptop can give error messages so I will uh, uh, repair this corrupted file with my this hex editor so at first I need to make backup this original bias so it's already done. Let's save this. Z book. The name is uh, ORG. So it's done. Let's minimize. And now I will uh, download backup file from HP official website. So now I need to. Uh, I need to put the serial number which is you can find uh, backport from backport so this is 5cg 5cg 929 929 1LYZ 1LYZ so let's search this So as you can see, it's uh, detect HP ZBook 14 UZ5. So I need to download this BIOS EXE from here. So let's copy this and paste here. Let's extract this EXE file here. enter this folder and and only i need this file this is a, uh, as you can see 23 mb so let's copy this and paste here and let's delete all the unnecessary file and folder so we have original bios file it's uh, 32 mb and we have backup BIOS from HP official website. So now let's open those two files in this hex editor. So we have already repaired this file. Uh, it was a long process. That's, that's why I skipped that part. I will make video about this uh, editing. Let me show you. So this is, as you can see, all the uh, parts here. So this is uh, after clean aneurysm as you can see here out image so i will flush with this bias being fine so let's open this tool again let's open as you can see here out image so let's open this and write and just to wait for complete this process
Okay, verify is done. So let's put it back to the motherboard. Let's put some flat on it. It's done, so let's clean this box. It's done. Let's connect the charger again. This power button and as you can see it's taking now three more than four whatever and let's check the CPU core so now we have CPU core voltage and let me check this now in number two as you can see we have some data or frequency whatever in number two so let's check the display okay now we need to wait for a few seconds to see the hp logo it will restart one or two times okay it's restart Okay, we have the HP logo. So it's updating the BIOS and we successfully fixed this laptop. So this laptop was code missing, but uh, we did not work, work in uh, CPU core IC or CPU section. We just repair 32 MB BIOS and result this year that's also working so successfully done thanks everyone for watching this video if you like this video so please hit the subscribe button press the bell icon if you already subscribed my channel thank you so much see you in the next video until then stay well bye bye